there's so many wrong Stop. facts get in this. Get fuck up. Look at this guy looking at us over here. Unbelievable. Get the fuck out, dude. I don't give a shit that we're... He's like staring at us with the apron. Yeah, you want to see what's under my apron? You fucking bitch. Yeah, this that's, isn't you're working gonna for me. To, you're gonna have to change that E3 stool out here. These stools are no good. Yeah, I had a bad E3 stool last night. <laughs> oh, oh god! After my hamburger, the convention, convention food, food, man. It's no good. It's deadly. We're making do with one microphone. It's deadly stuff. Yeah. I think well, we should be good though. We should be. Should we kick this thing off? Yeah, let's do it. Let's All do right. our E3 inbox. What's up, you guys? Welcome to Inbox E3 edition. You thought just because we're at the convention we're not going to dress up like idiots and fucking answer your questions? <laughs> we're scared Wrong. of embarrassing ourselves. <laughs> Never nope. been a problem. Nope. Never. Let us know if somebody behind us is going to come up and do something awful to us, though. Yeah, just please. Give us a heads up. There's a lot of nerds here. One thing I wasn't sure about, though, yeah. is we're missing our pneumatic line, so I wasn't yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't know where the mail's going to. Oh, what? Hey, there we go. Is that a. Right down my titty pocket. Wow. Pie. Is that a my magic kangaroo trick? style? Beautiful. All right. Well, I'm gonna shout just in case you guys can't hear me. Is that yeah. good? Audio's fine. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. God works in mysterious ways. Work yeah, through your tech, bosom man. that time. I'm telling you. I'm pretty sure that fired clear from the machinima office. Yeah. Jeez. We gotta keep the, our we yeah. gotta keep our heads on a swivel. Yeah, be really There's a bunch of shady motherfuckers here. These seriously, greasy mofos. Sega is the worst of the bunch. Unbelievable. It's crazy stuff. All right, are you ready for yeah, this? Yeah, let's, okay. uh, let's jump into it. All right, all see right. how we, how, what we got here. Here we go. <clears throat> Our very first question came from Eric O. He wants to know, what's the best thing you've seen at E3? Oh, man. It's a good question, because we've seen a lot of shit. There's a lot of shit here. <laughs> I, what's the best thing you've narrow seen? Narrow it down. Uh, this is, I guess, anything. That's really general. Uh, best thing I've seen so far still has been... Um, this was from Monday. I wasn't actually here yet, but I was watching the press conferences. Watch Dogs, Ubisoft, looks freaking impressive. Yeah. Still the best thing I've been watching. They have a big booth. I've been watching the uh, the gameplay stuff. I haven't gotten to play it yet. I, I think it's press. Came out of press nowhere. Only. Out of nowhere. Did you know nowhere. anything about Watch Dogs before this? I didn't. I didn't. New IP. I didn't yeah. know nothing about it. No. So. Uh, I think my favorite thing I've seen has been. Let me think. Drum I think I uh, was. Uh, I'm psyched on Aliens Colonial Marines. Also. Really? Assassin's Creed 3 looks good, and I'm not even good. a huge Assassin's Creed fan. Mm. Boom. Okay, so Evan uh, uh, Gazehart, Geshart, Geshart, have you met? I don't know. Wait, have you Evan met? what? Is it Guess? Geshart? Gazehart? Gazehart is what it looks like. I don't know. Evan. Not to me, because I'm no. literate. Yeah, well. <laughs> and Evan. I'm not a homophobe. Okay. Well, I'm Strike two, those. APL. Oh, all right. Someone behind? What's going on back here? I don't nervous. know. Have you met any quality booth babes? Be booth babes. If so, which booths? Uh, yeah, I've met some booth babes. The NOS booth right out front of E3. They're giving away free energy drinks. The babes are hot. They have a dance floor. It's fantastic. I've been over there for like 90% of the time. I haven't really seen many games. To be honest. The World of Tanks booth babes are sucking D. <laughs> no, they're not. Are they really? Seriously. Can we, we can cut this off now. I need to get yeah. over there. That's Suck start a leaf blower, as they say. <laughs> wow. All right. So there, yeah, there you have it. I will be going over the World of Tanks after this. You wanna read the next one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do. Anthony Torkington says in a sarcastic tone, I'm sure, can Sark beat anyone at arm wrestling? Or is APL still the king? Blah, 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 chug on APL's D like a World of Tanks girl. I love it. You know what? I can beat someone at arm wrestling. I just have to carefully pick my victim. <laughs> Asked, in your opinion, what is the coolest free stuff being given away? Oh, that's kind of. That's have kind you of been collecting swag? I have been. I've got a lot of T-shirts. They're passing those out like candy, so those are easy to come by. Uh, Bethesda did a. You were, you have one. I don't know if you have one with you right now. I do. Okay. I think this is my favorite thing. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Should we open this? <laughs> we could open it. Yeah, you want to do an unboxing? Yeah, here. Let, I here. To Take do the an mic. Unboxing video. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> that, was, that wasn't the that, box? <laughs> Fuck! Yeah, you shit, just. I ruined my shit! 
Well, okay, so here's what it is. It's a pair of bullshit <laughs> cardboard speakers that say Dishonored and Elder Scrolls Online that you can't tell the difference between the speaker and the actual box that it came in, so I tore this shit up. Fail. Taylor Coy asks, Hey, Mr. Sark, what'd you think of Halo 4? Good question, Taylor. I thought Halo 4 looked awesome. I was especially excited they were showing gameplay and that you could get hands on the multiplayer at the Halo party. Unfortunately, I didn't play it, so I just had to admire it from afar. A little disappointed in the trailer, though. Wasn't as awesome as previous year's E3 trailers. Boom. You can tell I've answered that question a few times. Yeah, you have right now already. I can tell. I've been on the stream for 20 hours. You're just a machine right now. Yep. I'll just it out. say, I don't even have to think about what I'm saying. It just comes right out. Fuck balls. In my ass. Titties. You're Whatever correct. I'm thinking, it just comes right out. Yeah. Titties in my ass. <laughs> uh, Sean uh, Benoit, Bennett, Benoit, I can't read. Benoit. Benoit. T is silent. Did you guys do one of the dancing games that got set up there? Who was who was best? I didn't do any of the dancing games. No, I didn't do any of them either because we're not homosexual. Yep. Although I've thought about it. I've ex I've uh, I have imagined myself in a homosexual situation as a as an attempt to determine whether or not I was truly homosexual or if I was in denial and couldn't tell. How far did uh, did your mental image go? I went all the way. I was fucking a dude. Dude was fucking me in my mind. I didn't like it though. So uh, in the end, I I was like, cool, I'm straight. I'm straight. I didn't like that that gay dream I just did to myself. Jack Willie Meyer asked, what a name, Willie, middle name. On a scale of one to 10, how sad were you that Valve didn't give news about Half-Life 3 at E3? I wasn't fucking surprised. Oh, Half-Life 3's been dangling in front of us for how many how many years? It's, I mean, at this point, it's, a, it's like an ongoing joke. I knew they weren't gonna be here. Yes, it's still very depressing. So for me, it was crushing, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 on the sad fucking scale. They did announce uh, CSGO is only going to be $15 when it goes to full release, and they give a release date. I can't remember what it is. Oh, man, that, that was... makes everything better. Thanks, Valve. Yep. Thanks, guys. I mean, it's good, but it's no Half-Life 3. 10 out of 10 on the sad scale. Yeah, I agree. For sure. Eric Anthony Menendez uh, asks, I'm pretty sure that's how you say that. Uh, he wants to know, who's the most annoying person at E3? I was going to say the booth babes who are the cock teases, but if they're giving blowjobs in the World of Tanks booth, I'm, I, I don't know. I'll Not annoying there. at all. No, that's great. Unless they don't stop when they're supposed to, and then it gets, like, super sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> We've gone this far without stopping our E3 edition of Inbox. Why stop now? We're going to do some rapid fire right here in front of everyone. We're creepy Sega and dickhead who doesn't like our aprons. Let's do it. Florenberg is a sick fuck. He wants to know if we're going to read a live tarantula or chop a finger off. Chop, chop a, a finger, finger off. off. Will Palmer wants to know error 404 or error 37. Error 37. 37. David A. Menendez wants to know whether we want Air Jordans or Adidas. 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 All day I dream about sex. Christian C. Nanners Monkholm wants to know rainbow colored unicorns or brown tomatoes. Rainbow colored unicorn. unicorn. Drew Menendez wants to know whether I'd rather have sex with a chick with no arms or no legs. It's a good question. No, no arms. Legs. Because then at least they have legs and it doesn't. It, stub? Fucking stub? No legs equals greater access. Hunter Niner is a sick motherfucker and wants to know, would we rather be black or be gingers or both? Both. both. Yeah, yeah, that'd be exotic, man. That'd be amazing. Maybe an albino. I don't know if they even have a... gingers, but albino, then bleach your hair. What or, do you mean uh, they? Diet? Yeah. They, I mean the, uh, the uh, black uh, nation. Black people? Yeah. I don't know either, but that would be awesome. Because if Freiburg starting the flight more early, Halo 4, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. <laughs> Halo, Halo 4. 4. Yeah, ready for some new stuff. Sorry, Call Absolutely. of Duty. Absolutely. Been a few years. Yep. Raiden Crow is an inquisitive little chap and would like to know if we like the Rolling Stones or the Beatles better. The, the Beatles. Beatles. Take it away. Here comes the sun, little darling. Here comes the sun. I don't know the rest. I can't. The skies of blue, the seas of green, in a yellow submarine. Nathan Fast wants to know whether we'd have a dick the size of our nose or a nose the size of our dick. We gotta stop down for just a sec. Yeah, it completely this... depends on the size of your dick in the first case or the nose right. in the second case. Exactly. So it's like, yeah, if, if you've got a huge dick, you're not right. gonna want a nose the size of your dick. If you've got a tiny nose. Right, you're not gonna want a dick the size of your nose. Right. Wow, this is like... It is a little confusing. It is confusing, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, in my case, I. I don't want to be Pinocchio. You Here's know what, what I'd like. I'd like to be a, uh, rather than a shower, I'd like to be a grower in this case. That way, your dick is tiny and your nose is proportionate. But when blood rushes into right. your erection, your right. dick is giant. 
Something like that. Yeah. Jem Sandlesoy wants to know who looks better as a ballerina, Sark or APL? Thank <laughs> you.